Good day, good day, beloveds. I trust that you are all well. God has laid a word in my spirit. Before we get into the word, let us start off with a word of prayer. Father, I just cover this word with the blood of Jesus. Let it minister to your heart of the people, to the heart of your people. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, the word that the Holy Spirit has laid in my spirit today is raising prophetic children. Raising prophetic children children and on that note i would like to publicly honor my parents reverend george trump and pastor florence trump mom and dad you did an amazing amazing job raising us you did an amazing job particularly raising me as a prophetic child who grew up to be a prophet God has been speaking to me so much about kingdom, about the kingdom, kingdom marriages, kingdom families, kingdom children. And the Holy Spirit said to me, he is redefining the family structure. He is redefining the family structure. Because he said to me, listen, I am placing people together or I have placed people together, not just for them to be happy with one another and love each other, but to fulfill kingdom mandate. Because God is raising kingdom marriages so that they will raise kingdom children. And that's exactly what my parents did. They partnered with God. They partnered with God to raise the child they were given, the children they were given. Particularly myself as a prophetic child. I am a product of Proverbs 26 verse 6. I'm going to read it for you. I'm going to read the Amplified Version. Train up a child in the way he should go, teaching him to seek God's wisdom and will for his abilities and talents. Even when he was old, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way he should go, teaching him to seek God's wisdom and will for his abilities and talents. Even when he's old, he will not depart from it. My parents partnered with God. So I know God's will for my abilities and talents so that I can journey on the path predestined for me. More than any other time now, God is redefining the family structure. The era of my parents, they... They understood it and they executed it. And in our era, there, has, there have been some ups and downs here and there. But God said, I have come to redefine the family structure. Because I'm putting people together for purpose. God has given you that marriage, not only for you to be happy, but to serve him with it. And it is your assignment as a parent to find out what abilities or talents God has placed in your child. So that you can partner with God for their lives. Before I was celebrated outside, I was celebrated at home. My parents celebrated my gifts, celebrated our talents. They raised a kingdom family. I come from a home where we had family devotions. I come from a home where they didn't just raise us, their children. They raised communities as well. And God is bringing that back in this generation 
my parents partnered with God so that I can be who I am today. Before I was on any other poster, before I was invited anywhere to preach, I preached at home. My parents celebrated my gift. They endorsed it. I remember some years ago, I think it should be 2013, between 2013 and 2014. Uh, it was actually in 2013. Uh, my dad had a slot on our local radio station, The Rock FM. And one day he went with me. And right in the middle of his preaching, he said to me, so Osi, what do you think? By the way, we were live on air. So I had to say something. So I just opened my mouth and talked. And in the car, like, Dad, how can you do that to me? He said, listen, you, you don't even need somebody to say, hey, look, um, this is what's going on. This is inside you. It's your gift. He celebrated the gift. He made me understand Proverbs 26 verse 6. So that I know God's will for my talents and abilities. He endorsed the gift. They celebrated it at home. And God said to me, in this time more than any other time, I'm redefining the family structure. And he specifically spoke to me about prophetic children. Some of you, you have prophetic children. Children that are seeing things. They're seeing visions. They're dreaming dreams. They've got extraordinary wisdom for a child their age. Those are prophetic children. Prophetic children are children who are chosen by God. Handpicked and set aside. They are different and very unique. And you need to partner with God for your child. Partner with God for your family. Ask God. Find out from God. Lord, you've placed me in this marriage. How can I partner with you for my spouse? How can I partner with you in this marriage so that it brings glory to your kingdom? How can I partner with you for my child? Find out your child's talents. What are their gifts? Celebrate them. Endorse them. Partner with God. In the Bible, an example of a chosen child. I'm going to give you two. The first one was Samuel. Hannah prayed for him. And she made the pledge to offer him back to God. And God had handpicked him. And he served. The second one was Joseph. Joseph was, had prophetic dreams and prophetic dreams interpretations. And that started from childhood. And he was dismissed as a child. But we later learned that that was for a greater purpose. But don't dismiss your child. Don't dismiss them. Find out what their talents are. Find out what their gifts are. Because you could be raising a prophetic child that could be a Joseph in their generation, an Esther in their generation, a Daniel, a David, a Deborah in their generation. Some of them not necessarily in ministry. They could be prophetic and called into industries as well. Or called mainly for industries. But they need Proverbs 26 verse 6. They need to be trained in the way that they should go. Once again, I would like to celebrate my parents, Reverend George Trump and Pastor Florence Trump for raising us. For raising a kingdom family. Because now we can take the, ba the baton and run with it. Find out what your child's talent is, what their abilities are. You could be, God could have given you a prophetic child. Don't dismiss them. Don't dismiss them when they tell you about those dreams. Don't dismiss them when they come with revelations and words of wisdom that are far beyond their age. 
Don't dismiss them because you'll be killing that seed. God has given you a seed. Find out what that seed is. I am told that when my mother was pregnant with me, during worship at church, I would kick vigorously. I would kick so much so that my mother had to sit. She couldn't even stand. That was the first indication of the seed that she carried. And that personality began to play out as I began to grow. And as I began to understand God's will for my life. And I am told that at two years old, they went to church with me and I fell in the spirit and they were like worried what's happening with the child. And the Holy Spirit said, look, um, I'm busy with this child. And I stood there. I, I, I was on the floor with the Holy Spirit ministering to me on the floor. I fell in the spirit. I was on the floor just crying with the Holy Spirit just ministering to me. And then after a few minutes, I got up. That was when the Holy Spirit filled me for the first time at two years old. And the encounters came. The personal encounters came as I began to grow up. But I needed Proverbs 26 verse 6. I needed that training. And therefore, I celebrate my parents. I celebrate you tremendously, Mama and Dad. Tremendously. I would never have been the person that I am. Had you not trained me up, had you not introduced me to the will of God for my life so that I can be on the path that is right for my abilities and talents. Before anybody knew my name, before I was on any poster, before I could ever be invited anywhere, before I could preach anywhere, I was preaching at home. My gift was celebrated. My gift was endorsed. Celebrate your children. Celebrate their gifts. Endorse them. Endorse them. Because some of you, your children are chosen. They are handpicked by God for particular kingdom assignments. And you need to partner with God. If you haven't before, praying for your children is good. But pray and say, Lord, the seed which you have given me, how can I partner with you for this child? For your will for this child. Because God is raising kingdom families. The children go and take the, the baton and run with it. My, my parents raised kingdom children. So we are taking the baton and running with it. Running with it in our own families. Running with it. We will run with it in our own families and implement what we were taught from home. And raise kingdom children. Raise kingdom families. Raise. Kabahatarabababa. Prophetic children. God is in the business of the kingdom. Kingdom marriages. That are there to fulfill purpose. Kingdom families. God is restoring the family structure. He is restoring homes. Restoring families. Restoring strained relations in families. Restoring strained marriages. Maraba sekete brosata. Partner with God for your marriage. Partner with God for your children. Because some of you are, are raising prophetic children. And God needs you to partner with him. So that his will is manifested in their lives. God bless you, beloveds. I hope this word has blessed you. And once again, thank you so much, mom and dad. Reverend George Trump and... Pastor Florence Trump for doing a tremendously amazing job raising us, not just as raising communities. So many families are standing today because of you. So many young people are standing in their families because of you. I am the prophet that I am because of your training. So God richly bless you for that. I love you so much. <laughs>